Hey, let me show you how you can fix battery drain on Redmi Note 14 Pro 5G. Okay, so first of all, I will start from removing every application that you are not using. As you know, there's a lot of bloatware, like some games and apps. And all you have to do is just to simply click and hold on the icon of the application, then select this icon and simply uninstall everything. Because all of those apps connect to the network and the background, to the Wi-Fi, to the mobile data, pick up your storage, RAM memory, so be sure that you remove them. Now you will have to go into settings and open more connectivity options, then move into printing and simply switch off system printing service by clicking on the switcher and also do the same for Xiaomi. If you want to connect and print, just turn them on back. Don't need to enable them all the time. Additionally, if you are not using QuickShare, you can also open it and simply switch this off by using this switcher. Now by going to the lock screen settings, be sure that you set up the screen timeout I can recommend you to go for 30 or 15 seconds. Next, pick up wallpaper carousel and turn it off. Right now, move into notification and status bar and manage app notifications. So if you have some apps that you are not using often, you can just simply turn off notifications from every of the apps. Then open the home screen. And if you are not using Google Discover, then switch this off. Right now, open display and brightness and be sure that you are running with the dark mode then move into refresh rate and simply select custom one and force to run in 60 Hertz. If you, need, if you need to get smooth animation, go back to the 120 Hertz. Right now you should go for the sound and vibration and turn off some sound effects that you are not using. For example, right here you can find some haptic feedback. If you don't care about this one, just switch this off. Uh, but also we can go into additional settings and you can switch off things like the iPad tones, playing sound when locking device, when taking screenshot, when uninstalling apps, deleting items, or for example, when you are connecting your device into charger. Also, if you are using live or animated wallpapers, it will be definitely better for your battery if you switch into the stock picture that it's not moving. Right now, you will have to enter for fingerprints, face data, and the screen lock, and you will have to navigate up to privacy, and then switch off this option to enroll in the user experience program. It's actually coll collecting, analyzing user data and then sending to the Xiaomi. So it's draining battery. Then go for usage and diagnostics and also switch this off. Next, open battery, go into current mode. And it also will be pretty useful if you turn on the battery saver mode. Here you can also find some information what it does. Like for example, it's gonna switch off synchronization of the happy feedback some features like rise to wake or showing the fingerprint icon when the screen is off. Now open Google and you'll have to navigate up to devices and sharing, go into devices and switch off that switcher that will pop up right here to don't scan for Nairobi devices. Next, you will have to open location. And if you are inside your house uh, or school or anywhere that you are, basically, if you are not using a location, just simply switch this off because it's actually draining a lot of battery and then go for the location services and be sure that you switch off Wi-Fi scanning, but also Bluetooth scanning. And also pretty general tip, if you are connected to the Wi-Fi data, you can simply switch off mobile data. If you are connected to the mobile data, you can switch off the Wi-Fi and the same with the Bluetooth. If you are not connected any Bluetooth device like headphones or speaker, just be sure that you switch this off.